quality is top priority for our dairy farm families, and it all begins right here on the farm. My favorite part about living on a dairy farm is that you have a bigger space to do stuff instead of just having a little lawn. I like being on the farm because <laughs> I feed cats. <laughs> they lick my hand, it tickles. It's pretty neat that I get to live on the legacy that my grandfather started. I get to be the third generation farmer here on the, the Weiser Dairy. Um, and it just, some days are challenging. You know, every day's not easy, but at the end of the day, it's always rewarding that, uh, that we produce quality milk and, and Matt Gosner recognizes that, uh, that we do produce good milk and all the hard work, you know, that we do that we get rewarded for it. Cows eat about 100 pounds of food a day, and they drink 25 to 50 gallons of water. Our sole purpose is just to make sure the cows are comfortable, to make sure they're vaccinated, to make sure that they're healthy, to make sure all those things that the cows need outside to be able to produce good milk when they go in the barn, that all their needs are met that way. My father, uh, he does all the feeding of the cows. And so he makes sure that they all have fresh feed every day, that everything is mixed properly. We have a nutritionist that does all the nutrition work. And so that has to be a job that's done just right. It takes all of us working together. I like being a dairy farmer because I like the lamb. I like to watch the, the cows. I love animals. I like the, the, the seeds, to see the seeds come up in the spring of the year. If the cow isn't happy and comfortable and enjoying life, then we've got some work to do. So our ultimate goal here on this dairy farm is to make sure that the cows are having an enjoyable life. They're comfortable, they're producing milk, but they're having a good time doing it. Cows are milked two to three times each day. First of all, a cow has to be in a comfortable environment where they rest and have a dry place to sleep. All these little factors contribute to quality milk. I like being on the farm because I get to spend time with my grandpa and my dad and my cousins because they all work on the farm. My dad taught me how to show cows when I was younger and when I was young, he gave me a jersey, and now I have many jerseys from her. And we've got to travel all over, going to shows. Cows make six to eight gallons of milk every day. We try to do a few things to, to keep our quality up to standard. Some of the things we do for high quality milk is when they come in and that milker gets attached, but milk never touches the air. It goes into a stainless steel receiver. When the milk hauler comes to pick up our milk, the sample is taken to ensure that it's the utmost quality for the consumer to be able to have confidence in that product. Dairy foods like milk are our number one source of calcium. We produce the highest quality product from our farming operation and our milking operation so that we can give the public the best product possible. From the cow to the milk tank to the processing plant, milk is tested at every stage along the way to ensure a consistent, high quality product. Drinking milk helps build strong bones and muscles and it keeps you fit and healthy. Have three servings of milk, cheese, or yogurt every day. We package shelf-stable milk, so it's milk that's able to be packaged and stored on the shelf without refrigeration. It requires some processing at uh, a higher temperature than pasteurization to kill the bacteria that causes milk to spoil. We are the oldest plant in the country that has this technology. The benefits of having milk be shelf-stable is the fact that it can be uh, distributed all over the world. We have milk in all 50 states in the U.S., as well as numerous locations outside the United States. And we're especially proud of the fact that we can supply milk to our troops who are stationed all over the world. 
especially those that are serving in Afghanistan. Having milk at breakfast gives your brain a boost before school. It takes 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese. From the beginning, we receive the raw milk into our receiving plant. Once the milk is unloaded, it'll go into one of our storage silos. From there, we run it through a milk separator to remove some of the fat prior to making Swiss cheese. We run it through a milk pasteurizer to heat it up to temperature and then cool it down. And we put the milk into our vats. We uh, stir and cook the cheese inside of the vats. It's about a four-hour process to make a vat of Swiss cheese. Cheese is packed with protein to keep you strong and healthy. Once the uh, vat is formed into curds and whey, we distribute that to our filling station where the curds and whey are separated. And the curds stay inside of a stainless steel mold and then travel through what we call our pressing station. The cheese remains in there for several hours and then is removed and put into a saltwater brine. After uh, being there for a period of time, it's removed from the saltwater brine, put into a vacuum sealed plastic bag where that bag uh, then goes into a cardboard box and into our aging department for the next 60 days where the eyes or the holes in Swiss cheese are formed. By that point the cheese is about 60 days old and it's uh, ready to be moved into our packaging department where we package it into loaf product, uh, slice, uh, chunk or, or shred or really anything that uh, our customer requires. And from there into our, our shipping department to the final customer. Eating cheese is good for your teeth and can help prevent cavities.